Well, as far as I know about soybeans is that we were the chief exporter of soybeans, or we, we, we sold a shit ton of soybeans to to um, China. Right. And then with all the tariffs that came into place, um, During Trump. China stopped buying yeah. They stopped buying soybeans from us, right. and they started buying it from Brazil instead. Was that because so, of Trump's tariffs? Yeah. Oh, right. Direct, That's why, like, directly the, because uh, of Trump, right? And he was, he, was, he was blocking off trade with China during his uh, campaign? Tariffs. Yeah, it's like, yeah, like tariffs and stuff like that. You know, yeah. you, you want to do that America first crap, right? but realistically, it just kind of hurt us in the end. So um, apparently, we have to subsidize uh, you know, their, their costs and stuff like that, and we got to pay for or help the farmers live by giving them money. Right, because they were they were they were um, killing themselves left and right. Right, it was all over the news too. I, I remember, right? Really, it was on the news. Okay. Well, yeah, like, it was, like it was, it was online news, news, online news, not not oh. not national oh, yeah. ABC, yeah. kid friendly <laughs> news and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, because I noticed that like uh, companies or not companies, like media companies, they won't talk about suicides. Yeah. Because it promotes suicide. Because it drives suicide up. Yeah. So. Um, that that's something that uh, you know they, they don't talk about. And so so, kinda, so how much are so farmers getting exactly from the government? What's that? So how much exactly do you know? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know exactly. It's, it's not enough though, right? I, I, it's not enough to whatever. Yeah, they're I mean, if they're still you know, that, committing suicide, basically to shut them up, right, from right. complaining and <laughs> going on the news themselves and stuff like that. Uh, is is America ever going to recover and get the price, get the business back from China? The soybean business? I never know. Yeah, never know. But I as mean, of right now, the Biden administration, you know, we're not building walls. We're trying to build partners um, with everybody. So it would be in our best interest to get that business back. Right. And Biden's trying to get that business back, do you believe? I have no idea. But uh, he, he is working on, you know, all the holes in, in our society right now uh, that wasn't really talked about, you know. They kept talking about their growth rate of, of, of jobs and stuff like that. But you're, you're definitely going to have a high growth rate when you have a high drop-off rate. right? When the pandemic started and everything, everybody started losing their jobs. And when the economy started picking up a little bit, everybody got their jobs back. And they count that as you know a win in their book. Right. But I think they said that with Trump uh, exiting office, he actually has 3 million less jobs than when he started. Oh, wow. Yeah, so he well, hasn't that, Well, that's also jobs. due to the pandemic, right? The pandemic oh, of course. erased like per- jobs permanently, like many jobs are erased now yeah. permanently because of the pandemic. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about anything with like live interactions and stuff like that. You know, yeah, uh, it, it's like uh, don't expect it to come back, or if it does, uh, it's gonna be a while. Yeah, because the the coronavirus just it it keeps mutating, right? And it's always yeah, gonna keep it, mutating, right? Yeah, just like the, the common flu and everything else that mutates, you know. But um, you know, we might be better prepared for the mutations. Yeah. Right. I think I think, I think just kind of like like um, I don't know how vaccines and stuff like that work, but I can only imagine that you just tweak the vaccine that you have currently. Hmm. Uh, you don't need to just create a brand new one, you know. Yeah, you gotta always keep innovating the vaccine. 